In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use iWeb to make a link to the web gallery that you created in Adobe Bridge and then transferred to your web server. As you can see, I have iWeb open. And what we're going to need to do in iWeb is a couple of things. You may have a number of links in your web page. Certainly you have one for your blog and your welcome page. And you may have a number of other ones for your other assignments. What we want to end up with, because we don't want to keep going across and across with more and more links here, is to consolidate all of our links for all of our assignments on one page. So you can see I've added an assignments page. Now if you look over here, I've not gotten rid of my other pages. I have here one photo page. Now you may have other pages that relate to your other assignments, but I just simply have the one here. So we're not going to get rid of the page, we simply need to get rid of the link. So for example, if I look at the welcome page and I go to my inspector and I click on the first icon or tab in the inspector, go to the page inspector, there's a couple check boxes near the bottom. The first one says include page and navigation menu. If I deselect that, what you'll see happen is that the welcome link disappears. The welcome page is still here, just there's no link to it on our main menu bar. Well, we want to include certainly the welcome page in our menu, but we don't want to include a page such as photos. So, because that's one of my assignments. So, you need to go for to those pages in the inspector and deselect the box for that link. So, the only thing you'll end up with is a welcome page, blog, no other assignments, meaning that you will need to add also this assignments page. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to do that. You would simply create a new page and for that assignments page you're just going to create a blank page. I've already done that. That's my assignments page right here. So let me go ahead and let me activate my links so I can easily navigate between these. And you can see I've made some changes already. I've modified some of the text. I've added a couple text boxes. So for every assignment that you've done, and for every assignment that we'll do, we need to have some information regarding that. These will become links to those pages for those assignments. So I have one for building multimedia. That's the one where we went to different buildings on campus and took pictures of digital multimedia. And then our Photoshop gallery, that's going to be the one for my uh, Adobe Bridge gallery that I created. So how do we create these? Well, again, these are text boxes I've created. I've put some text in there serving as a link. I've created some other text to serve as explanations. I could have some images in here as well if I wanted. I've just stuck with text. So how do we make these links? For example, this is already a link, and you can see it goes directly to my photos page. What we need to do, I'm going to turn off the hyperlinks here so I can show you. In this text box, you need to select whatever you want to become a link. In my case, I only want this main heading or title to be my link. So I've selected it. I need to be in my hyperlink tab in my inspector. And we need to enable it as a hyperlink. We need to decide what we're linking to. In this case, since it's a page, it's a part of iWeb, it's going to be one of my pages. There are some other choices, but in this case, we need one of my pages. And then we need to pick what page we're linking to. And again, in our case, it'll be the Photos page. I'm going to go ahead and make the hyperlinks active so that when I click on the link, it'll actually take me to that page and I can test it out. And you can see that it does. Now let me go ahead and remove that because what I want to do is now show you how we will navigate to our web gallery. We still need to create the text box, put in our text. We still need to select the text that is going to become a part of our hyperlink. We need to go to the link part of our inspector. We need to enable it, but this time it needs to be an external page. It's not a part of the iWeb website. But we need to know what the URL is for that website. Also, I recommend that once we put the URL on that we specify to open it in a new window. Since there's not going to be anything in our web gallery, it's going to allow us to easily navigate back to our uh, website, to our part that was created in iWeb, 
it'll be easier to open it up as an external or extra window. So how do we get this URL? Well, let me jump over to Firefox and I'm going to go to my website on my server and what I need to do is figure out where my web gallery is located. If you remember from the FTP demo that when we went and placed that folder called PS we put that inside of the folder that related to the website and that was class demo. So I'm going to get rid of the welcome HTML. The name of my folder was PS and I'm going to hit enter. There it is. It loads in. So I now know the URL for this web gallery. Now this is assuming that you've placed your folder for your web gallery in your site folder. It also assumes in this case that you named your folder PS. If you put it someplace else, the path will be different. So make sure you've got the right one. So I'm going to copy this command C. I'm going to go back into iWeb. I am going to paste in that link. Again, you can see it's got the class demo PS part in there. And we can then go ahead and make the hyperlinks active. First click off the box and then I can click on the link. You can see that it's actually now going to that external server to that web gallery that was created. Here's the one that I opened up in testing. Here's the one that just opened up. I'll close both of those and go back to iWeb and reshow you. So I click on Photoshop Gallery. You can see that it's actually linking and opening it. So we now have that. So you would normally then um, go ahead and publish this up to your site. Double check, make sure all of this works. Again, as we proceed through the semester for every assignment that we're going to have, we're going to continue to add the content and the links to that. Most of those will end up being internal to iWeb. Uh, but certainly here, the Photoshop gallery is something that was created externally. That concludes the tutorial, uh, so thank you very much.